Hello, friends and followers. Here is the Dentron Clipperton L amplifier, and this thing has been giving me trouble for a long time. I finally took out the uh, one half ohm resistor that was mounted. The little resistor was, there were two resistors mounted on this tower here, and I've taken those out and moved the resistors to this China Communist one half ohm resistor. So this is now taking the place. This is a hundred watt. The old one was two watts, so I doubt it's gonna bother to burn this one out. However, if those resistors were there as a matter of a fuse, they were sure irritating as they were all always burning out. Do I risk burning out the 572 tubes? I guess I'm gonna find out, but I'm not really sure why that one half ohm resistor existed, but I've put one in here in good faith. Hopefully the uh, 3,500 volts won't jump across this gap here. I found a place to mount this thing. I just basically had to grind it and hack it until it fit and fits in with one screw. That's all I'm gonna do with this thing. We'll see if it works. Put it back together. I made sure there's no short here. This is one half ohm pretty much so. Okay, time to uh, put it back together and see what it does. If it blows up or not. Anyway, put the tubes back in. Here's a view again of that little tower that now has a capacitor and the HV wire going right to it. I did tape up the uh, RF choke here with tape because I think it sparked off of that once or twice and I'm not sure why but who knows anyway put it back together and see how this thing behaves I dislike this amp enough that I may sell it off because I get tired of it going kaboom and scaring the crap out of me for no reason I don't know why it does that so since I've introduced more variables to it it will either quit doing that or it will do it again and maybe burn out the uh, Harbach board. The last kaboom noise it made, the Harbach board apparently survived. So put it back together, see what it does. Part of me is uh, just wanting to get rid of all this big stuff and uh, get rid of the SB200 over here, which doesn't really cause me any grief, but I'm kind of getting burned out on high voltage stuff. This guy I listed for 999 on eBay, which is probably too much, and I put out offers for 450 to get rid of it. This one, the same thing, I think 450 to get rid of it. All this stuff works perfectly. This guy pretty much also I I, I put it in for 450 just because I'm probably gonna downsize all this stuff. And I just finished working on the uh the uh, 300 over here, which is uh, probably as good as it's going to get. So I just got done calibrating this thing and aligning the dial scales for linearity. I've put in the best tubes I can find and I've aligned it three times now to get it perfect. So the case on that needs repainted desperately. So I may take that piece into the store and try and get the paint matched. Um, and that's about it. So probably going to wind down on this ham radio stuff. It just makes too much of a mess. It takes too much time. This this Paragon here works perfectly. Now, since I fixed it, I could fall back and use that radio if I want to get on the air. This Paragon, I'm waiting for an IC chip for it in a socket. And that's it. I'll probably give away lots of these parts to uh, Mr. Mr. Pete because he's a big time home brewer and he could use them. All right, well, thanks for watching and I should probably move all these boxes down to the garage. Have a great day. And again, this is the uh, Clipper Denel, the amplifier that is known to go kaboom in my face. Take care.